Hi, and welcome to my tips and tricks. My name is Brett Combs. I'm an applications engineer from the Richmond, Virginia office. Today, we're going to be looking at how we can reset our registry to clear up little buggy issues and reset our user interface back to default factory settings. Now, SOLIDWORKS gives you the ability to make a wide array of customizations to your user interface and your user settings. This could be hard to keep track of, especially if you're making changes to these things on a daily basis like I do. Also, we know that Windows updates have been known to damage registry files that SOLIDWORKS needs to be able to function correctly. And if you've ever opened up SOLIDWORKS and it immediately crashes or you're missing different toolbars that you expect to see there or, or buttons or anything, some kind of weird functionality you wouldn't expect, resetting your registry is one way that you can clear these items up. Now, you should be careful and consult with your IT department anytime you make modifications to the registry because if you make the incorrect change, this could cause serious instability to your system. Also, you will need full admin permissions to do this. So you'll, need, you'll notice on my screen, I've got a lot of unnecessary toolbars and commands turned on. In fact, I've turned on every single default tab as well as every single floating toolbar within my system so I can show you the difference on how a customized user interface will be reset to factory settings with this registry reset. Let's go ahead and close SOLIDWORKS to do this. And I'll just type in reg edit, registry editor, under my start menu. My Windows is going to confirm that I do have admin privileges. And the first place that I want to go is under the H key current user key. Then I'll expand software, go down to SOLIDWORKS and expand that. What I'm looking for is the SOLIDWORKS version located right here. If you have more than one version on your system, you would have more than one key for each version. What I'll do at this point is just rename this version, SOLIDWORKS 22, 2022, to a unique identifier, maybe with underscore old at the end. And just like that, next time I launch SOLIDWORKS, it's going to launch with the new factory default settings. In fact, it might even ask me to confirm the license agreement again, which it did. Let's just go ahead and open up another little blank part, and you'll see how all of my settings have been reset to the factory installation settings. I hope you enjoyed my video on the registry editor 